G'day and welcome back for more Escape from Purgatory. As I attempt to keep Kanajashi alive by maybe being able to get him down into the pressurized area where Kapak is. Because uh, I'm here recording on my own and I don't know how I'm going to do this bit. Um, ooh, I have an idea. Goodbye stairs, goodbye that. Drill that out. And hopefully, I can get a slope placed, uh, maybe down there, and then push him towards it. Maybe. Let's see if this works. Oh, come on. Come on. Here we go. We're getting there. <laughs> I actually don't know if he'll die while I'm on here without him, but... I figured, at the very least, this is going to be confusing for Kanajashi when he arrives. So, my plan today, or at least my plan until Kanajashi and Kapak arrive, is to prep the Kapak launcher. Because Kapak's been hiding for so long down here in his nice little pressurized space that it's time for us to do something cheeky to him. Come on. Here we go. Which means I need to start thinking about how I'm going to uh, he should be okay in here because we have yeah everything now I'm going to launch him or how I'm going to dig him out without killing him part of that's going to be uh, an interesting challenge so this project this prank <laughs> how do I achieve it capac has got this pod in here which is reasonably easily separable from the base. I should, as a first priority, add a battery in here. Something to allow it to have power, because if this doesn't have power when I detach it, Kapak will die, and that's not the goal, weirdly. The goal is to have him alive and freaked out. So, battery time. Hopefully by the time I've got this all sorted out, uh, he will be... This will be fully charged up. There we go. We have a power source that is separate. I'll need to set up some sort of separate O2 supply. So a few of these bits and pieces in here I think are going to need to go. But what I should probably do first to keep Kapak and Kanajashi alive while I'm working on this solo is drill out around this space so that I've got some clear views on where I might lose pressure if I accidentally grind through a bit. Because I'm going to need to make sure that I really maintain the seal on this place as I'm working on it. And hopefully Kanajashi will be able to help me out with some of it as well. But given how much work's in, going to be involved in this, I thought I would get a head start on it. And borrow his miner. I think this is going to be the best way to go down there. So my idea had been to come down from somewhere around here. Right-click drilling, I should be able to get down there fairly easily. We've drilled so much, so many holes in these this terrain around here, I'm not too worried about making more of a mess of it. But I'd like not to have to move the parking space, which is kind of where this thing is. Aha! Look at that! I went straight to it. That's definitely luck, because we all know my sense of direction would have made that impossible to be deliberate. This takes me back to Mars. <laughs> For any of you that remember the birth of the bitter pill. Drilling out a rover and, oop, making a mobile. That was just a camera, wasn't it? Break it, I think. I don't want to break Kanajashi's miner while I'm here. Not bad. So the other thing we've got to do today is get some weapons onto this base. Given what happened last time, it would be nice to have some weapons and some more magnesium. Oops, oops. This thing is very touchy about going upwards, and I've just damaged the turret. Is the turret I damaged? No, I damaged the O2H2 gen. Okay, repaired my damage. <laughs> no one needs to know what happened there. Let's do some more delicate mining around here, I think. I'd like to not pop through the surface too much if I can help it. Just have that one hole where I came down in the miner. Not sure why that is a desire for me, but it's 
it's always a thing for me in Space Engineers. And pretty much any game where the uh, initial voxels are cleaner than the ones you can create. Dang it, I think I'm going to pop through everywhere. It's just too close to the surface here. For me to create, for me to be able to keep this airtight. Can't get rid of this roof yet. Capac was very near the surface. Oh, well, uh, that's the stairs. Right. Oh well. <laughs> if I make a mess of it, I make a mess of it. It's worth it to do this. To, <laughs> to do this weird, weird thing. I think I've managed to separate this from the base with the only linkages being where the airlocks are and this conveyor tube. It's got its own independent power supply now with that battery. And I can see through the wall that the battery has a decent bit of charge on it. It's uh, above 50% now. So what I need to do is give it an independent oxygen supply now. And with an independent oxygen and power supply, I can then detach it from the base and figure out how I'm going to move it out of here. Though, perhaps not in that order, because that order seems to be uh, the dangerous way of doing things. I should really have this... I should really have a way to move it before I detach it, I think. That'd be smart. With the way the airlocks work, I think it'd be good to have a pair... Maybe a triplicate of oxygen tanks would be a good idea. And perhaps some scaffolding around here would be a good idea too. Because while the jetpack works, it's super, super awkward. Hmm. He's going to need a cargo and food supply, isn't he? When he wakes up. Because it would be funnier if he can actually survive in what I'm hitting him up to space in. Because, oh yeah, that's right. I hadn't mentioned that. My plan of attaching him to the booze bus with this thing? Nah. That's not good enough. What's good enough is launching this thing to space and seeing how far he gets. There we go. <laughs> Food and water and oxygen. Everything a growing capac needs. And we're piped. One oxygen tank's already full. This one is rapidly filling. And so should this one be. So... Independent oxygen supply, check. Independent, independent power supply, check. Now we just need to figure out how on earth to move this thing without breaking it. I'm thinking I might need a bigger hole. <laughs> it's a fairly large construction. Uh, hmm. I guess since I've got, since I don't have all scrap, I could just make this thing flyable. That would probably make it easiest to get out and if I stick a few drills on it I can just drill my way to wherever I want to be with it uh, some small hydrogen tanks a few hydrogen thrusters, a gyro and a control seat is all I need I was thinking of trying to use wheels but I think it's just too big and I, I feel like being able to fly it might help because if it can fly then we can just put thrusters on override and watch it sail away <laughs> Although I'd really like to launch it with the uh, launcher for the six-pack. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Judging by the number of thrusters required to lift the booze bus, I'm not going to need a lot to make this thing fly. Guess I should also put a solar panel on this when I get it outside too. That should be a thing. I'm a little bit on the clock here in terms of getting this done. I'm... Hopeful that Capac will return very soon, so I'd like to get this done before he does, because otherwise explaining this will be a lot less fun. Because he'll just be upset that I made a mess of his base. Whereas if he's off in space, he can complain all he likes. He'll be thousands of kilometers from me, potentially. Once I get this outside, I'm going to make it a lot more stylized. I just don't want to add too much while it's underground. So I'll do things like wood grain and other things to make it look like a casket and whatnot. But I just want to try and make this thing functional first. Function first looks when it's clear and I've got plenty of room to move. Cool. Alright, thrusters. Probably want some downward thrust since this is the moon and I'm not going to get much from gravity. The only other thing I could put on here would be, I guess, a pair of drills to try and clear my own pathway out. Or a few drills, I guess. 
Now these drills are only going to right click drill. I'm not going to actually collect anything with them, so I don't need them piped. They're, they're purely for getting rid of all of the stuff that's in the way. And hopefully allowing me to get this thing out without needing Kanajashi's miner. Although, if Kanajashi does arrive soon, uh, that might even be a better option. Let's just have him mine a path to clear the way in front of this while I pilot this. Ow. Ah, uh, no power. Ah, uh. you should be okay though. Don't worry about, don't worry about being out of power. Ah, uh, good morning. I, I might have had I to carry to you back to bed, um, Stardew Valley style. Oh, really? Because <laughs> it was my only way to get you to somewhere safe. I had to push you down here. Oh. Thank uh, you. Because otherwise you were going to suffocate and or run out of power. I'd like to introduce you to someone, though, formally. Steve? Where is he? This is Kanajashi. Kanajashi? Steve. He's blue, like you. He, he's a rock. Yeah. He can do oh, tricks, okay. though. Watch this. Yeah. Oh! He disappeared. Ah! He does tricks. It's a, it's a moving rock. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, it's the first time I've seen that. The reason I brought Steve along uh, Hello, is Steve. Steve is going to record what happens to Capac when we launch him off this rock. Ah, yeah. I see, you're going to tell us the tales of what goes on in here. So we might need to give Steve a better vantage point because he can't actually see Capac from where he's sitting. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that'll be kind of fun. Yeah, do we need to make him another chair or something? Yeah, we might just get rid of this bathroom. Um, we can probably just grind away those two bits and then put him put his chair so he can see Capac and see this whole space and everything. Yeah, there's another bathroom over here. Yeah, we can we can share one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Capac and Steve can share. That'll be fine. So, you're probably out of power, I'm assuming. Oh, I had a nice lay in the bed, and now I got power again. Ah, okay, cool. Let me show you what I've been up to. Alright. Oh, no! Oof. That was close. <laughs> uh, I might just go uh. check and see if Capac's still alive. It, it only vented for a moment, right? Yeah. Nah, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> he's good. He's preserved. You might notice something different now that you're outside the airlock. Uh. Ah. Uh, I've oh. been drilling. Oh, yes, you have. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, and there's thrusters and everything down here, too. Yeah, so I thought the easiest way to get this out would be to fly it out. Uh. And so. Oh, I I've... see where you've. Like, I can see where you're planning to disconnect it from the base. Yes. Cut, so... Cutting it off right here. Uh huh. Cutting it off just past the airlocks, and then yeah. flying it out. I've started, I built one drill on it so far, and I was going to kind of right-click mine my way out of here. But... Yep, sounds good. We need more ice, and I don't know how to rotate your drill. Oh, okay, I'll go and get on it. Uh, we should also probably put some effort into getting some weapons on this base. Uh, if you want to know the way out, mm. I can show you. It's around this way. Well, I mean, there's a hole, so I can just fly out. Oh, yeah, or you can fly out the top. I drilled this out using your mining ship. Ah, nice. That's which what I thought you'd do. Yeah, which I might have slightly damaged and then repaired. I will. You, if you didn't have told me, I would have known. Uh, I'm sure someone would have told you eventually. <laughs> oh, there's more infrastructure here now. There is. What did I do? Oh, right. Didn't I do that last time? I did that last time. That's the extra hydrogen you did, engines. You did the age, You did the. You did two engines, like. Now there's, what, there's four or more oh. engines? Yeah, I added them last time, though. And the, uh, the O2H2s? That's new. Yeah. I think every battery on this base is completely charged up as well. Nice. Which means every battery on the booze bus is charged. Dude, or I ten plus of them. Too. Yeah. My scraper. Oh, God, I'm falling down the hole. There we go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so we need more Enemy. ice. So I can fill up the uh, tanks on enemy. that thing. Enemy. Enemy? Re Reaver. I see one. 3.5 away. Oh, it hasn't detected us yet, though. Uh, let's get... Guns! 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 Okay, I'm going to try and get into the pilot seat of the booze bus. 
Although, thankfully, its guns are actually in the correct orientation. Yeah, there's no way I'm flying this thing. Uh, it's coming from the direction the boost bus's guns are closest. That's good. I think this is just like, thankfully, it's in the right orientation, and let's watch the show. Yep. Not maybe. sure if there's anything else we can do at this moment. No, it's too late. Oh! Ow! Ow, I got killed! Ooh, and the boost must got absolutely dropped. No. Oh, I see your body. <laughs> Falling down. Oh, jeez, I just saw part of the reaver falling through the booze bus as I've spawned back in. Uh, where is my body? Where is my stuff? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, there's a hole in the top of the booze bus now. Yes. Uh, is there still... Are all the turrets still intact? Yeah, there's four up here. Is that how much there was before? Yep. Okay. So we need more uh, guns. Intact. Yep. Oh, I was wanting to make a rotor turret. You, sure. Um, you can do that if you want. Yes! Excitement! <laughs> uh, we do need to foc We do need to focus on getting Capac out as soon as. So we might just put a few simple turrets first. I might oh, need yes. your help with your miner kind of clearing the way for me. Yep. Um, okay. I'm also just going to get the scraper scraping. Yes, that's that needs to happen before because that's going to provide the fuel for the casket. I might turn all the engines off, all the hydrogen engines, because there are six of them running and that can go through fuel pretty quickly. Let's reset this thing to dock. Yeah, the rotation is the only thing you have to do manually. That's kind of annoying. But it's resetting to dock and I'll uh, rotate it and get it onto another patch of ice. Cool. Uh, so I just didn't want to break anything, that was all. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no worries. All right, let's get some basic turrets up. Yep, I'm um, putting one on top of the cargo container. Yeah. We probably one want on each some. Container will be a good start. Oh, we probably want some like little outposts built around this crater. That'd make a lot of sense. Yeah, that's what I was thinking with uh, like a little rotor turret outpost or something. I need grids. Oh, hang on. Have we got? How are we going with uh, refining the magnesium that you brought back? Oh, right, and I can go do another uh, money run. Yeah, we got, we've actually got a fair bit. There's uh, so much to do. Yeah, there, there really is um, a lot to do. Uh, these armored... Oh, okay, armor straight. Conveyor armored straight. Okay, so I can't put stuff on these. That's all you really need to do to make a little sort of turret pylon we can place on the outer rim as something's coming in. It'd be like a cargo container, battery, turret, yep. solar panel. Yeah, pretty much. And we can make a little pile on, on the uh, the hills around us. Yeah, I, th I think that would be the optimal way to protect this place. Because then at least stuff would get shut up before it gets to the booze bus and can stop causing damage to my little chip. That's not so <laughs> little. You're not so little. But still wonderful ship. My delicate little booze bus. This one, though, is this little hill is close enough. I'm going to draw out some armor blocks and connect it to the base's power. All right, so we get these turrets up. Mm -hmm. Then we get the casket out of heaven. The casket. <laughs> uh, then while I'm working on fixing up the casket for launch, you can work on your rotor turret. Ah, sounds perfect. And then, hopefully, before Capac arrives, we launch the casket. I was thinking maybe even a little bit of a Viking funeral-esque thing, where uh, I can put some of those emitters on it and just have it wreathed in flame. Oh, that sounds really cool, actually. <laughs> Capac can be a, a shining fireball flying off into space. I think he would like that. I think he would. Uh, not sure it'll make up for launching him into space in the first place, but I think he'll like it. <laughs> I think he'll cope. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to borrow your drill ship and just clear out a bit of space underneath this thing. Oh, don't no need to ask to borrow. Oh, just use it. Yeah. Not my drill ship, it's our drill ship. There's always a little bit of possession that comes with doing the build. 
I'm not concerned with such things. Maybe a cap apple flying, but not you. <laughs> okay. You, you trust me. Not sure why. Suppose at yeah, least I'll sure rebuild either. whatever I break. Exactly. I know how. Capac will just scream his frustration at realities. Ooh, oh. The thing is fully retracted. I'll get it. Shh. Go on to the next location. You know, with how many, with how much in the we've got in the way of basic resources, we probably could just convey a pipe up all of the outposts, and then just build yep. periodic turrets along the conveyor linkages. Just send out some pipes in every direction, and yeah, just put turrets on. Yeah. Thanks. Scraper advance rover. Time to jiggle. I'm so glad you came back when you did, because it was I was just before saying I need Kanajashi to fix up my fuel problems now. I think if I dig down deep enough beneath this thing, um I should be able to drop down and then drill forward and then pop out somewhere a bit further away from the base rather than making a giant hole to pop mm -hmm. out of right at the base. All right, hydrogen tanks on this thing are full. Um, are you able to maybe come and try and detach me? Oh, on the booze bus? No, the, the, the casket. Oh, the casket. Uh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. I was confused for a quick moment there. Yeah, sure, I can cut you off. Hopefully, I'll just float when you do that. <laughs> Otherwise, Kavak's going to wake up to being <laughs> just weirdly uh, off-kilter underground. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I can come down. And are you ready to, like, take care, like, take over it? Ready to fly? Yeah, I'm in the cockpit. Okay, so there's the two armor blocks holding it on beside each doorway. I can yep. take those off right now. Yep, and then there's a conveyor linkage. Now, do you want to have this um, cargo container here come with you or not? Nah, it doesn't need to come with me. I've got one anyway. Okay. So I will cut it off from the uh, conveyor tube on the other side of it as soon as I can actually fly up there. Yep. Ready? Three, uh, two, one. Am I? Am I separate now? You should be. I've cut you off. Okay. Uh, now for the terrifying part. You might still be a grid, though. I get static. Yeah, I'm still static. Uh, we sure we got... Uh, the top looks all clear. I think we've got it all. I'm just going to get rid of these stairs to make sure, because you're touching them. Ah. Looks like you're clear. Alright. Looks like you're ready to rock. So I guess make Convert it to into ship. a... Uh... In three, two, one. I'm a ship. Okay. I'm floating. It's moving. It didn't explode. I didn't miss any voxel. Uh, you're grinding on the cargo container back here with a, a plant. Oh. Let me just uh, quickly remove this plant. That's right. Oh, okay. It's it's going with you then. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I I had an idea with that. Uh, now, block tools. Let's give me a drill. Nope. That's not the How's right your hydrogen doing? Uh, Ninety-nine percent. So now I just gotta hope. The only thing that I might need your help with is perhaps we might need some more drills on this because even right click doesn't seem to be clearing enough space. No, you're not gonna. Your roof is hitting. Yeah. Uh, but I wonder, do you need all that roof? Uh, yes, because Capax lofted the ceiling, so if we get rid of any of that, it'll depressurize. Uh, he did loft the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, I see. Uh, if you go grab your drill ship, you might be able to clear, help me clear my way. Well, that was already on my way. Thought you might have been. Um, I guess I just go out back the hole that I came in for the miner. I guess that'd be the way Towards to go. Towards the bus. The way I'm coming down right now. Yeah. Okay, so you just want to make this hole bigger? I guess so. I was ho I was kind of hoping to go a different way, but I think that's going to be the most sensible. Anything else will just be a large expenditure of time. All right, I, think, I think I'm going to leave this thing mostly intact in the way that I've built it. So it is flyable by Capac, but... 
what I've, but I have an idea on how to make it uh, launch itself. I was thinking of trying to use our launcher, but this thing's just too big to use our grab launcher. You would need far too many uh, artificial masses on it. Yeah, yeah. So instead, a couple of timer blocks, set the lifting thrust to override, and have it turn off after a time, and then he'll just coast. I suppose if we put a remote control block and a um, antenna on, we could also do it that way. Yep. We just make it into a little drone. Oh <laughs> I kind of like the idea of not being able to control it once we launch it. <laughs> just launch it towards the direction. And just Yeah, just see right. what happens. <laughs> Hopefully it wakes up in time. Could even put parachutes on it and launch it at Pertum. No, not Pertum, at Purgatory. Okay. <laughs> Does he really want to be down there? No, I don't. Maybe we try and aim it at one of the other planets then. Hopefully it doesn't hit an asteroid on the way. Yeah. Take another chunk out of the wall. <laughs> the lengths I'll go to for a gag. Oh, of course. We have made a giant mess next to the base, which is what I'd hoped not to do, but oh well. Bit of plate will fix that up. And we're out! We're clear! That's a convenient spot for me to land this so I've got cargo access. Guess on the far side of the booze bus. Work. Yeah, we just string out some more cargo and plug her in if we want to. Oh, the booze bus took so much damage! Oh yeah, the roof is all caved in. Wow, I didn't appreciate how badly it got shot up. I probably shouldn't have been standing there. It seemed like I was targeted. Well, there's a bit less of the base now. <laughs> Just a bit. Inventory full. Just walk down the stairs and... Oh, that's a little bit of a hole. Oh man. I'll get around to fixing that up, but I want to... I'll uh, focus on getting the casket stylized first. Once we've launched it, then I think it'll be uh, time for me to fix the base up and make it look good again. <laughs> uh oh, Oop, he's coming for me. Uh, that's not great. Are you oh, are, are you like in, in an underground spot where it can't quite get to you? No, I'm flying. Oh, I'm burning away from him. Uh... I've got the fuel to burn. I'm fresh. So I can coast away from this guy for a while now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out running him. Okay. I'm not sure. I am I going away from the base as well. Actually, you might want to bring him back here because if he's focused on you, but you're keeping his distance, you can probably bring him to kind of skate past our guns. All right. If you don't like, if you keep yourself at about 2k's distance, hopefully you won't target switch to the boost bus or anything while still getting shot down by it. Okay, I'm going to try to make a, a, a turn here. Because I think it takes it a long time before it loses any interest in you. Yeah, he's at 3k right now. I'm just trying to make the turn to be able to get back towards the base. Yep. And I need to make a wide turn so I don't fly by him. Because he was between me and the base. Yeah. For a little bit there. Seems the Reavers have really got yeah. it out for us now. I'm turning in towards the base now. He's 2.3, coming in fast. I'm one away from the base. Okay. I, oh, I'm gonna I saw him peek up for a second. I'm going to zip right over the base. He is just a kilometer and a half behind me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get shot, get shot, get shot! Oh! No, it's shooting the casket! No! Oh, rockets! So many rockets! Oh, it is pummeling us! Casket lose integrity. I got my gun in the fight. He's shooting at me now. Yep. It's large grid, isn't it? It is a thrasher. I don't know what that is. It looks huge. That's what it looks like. 
Alright, I think Kapak's still alive because I can still see his marker. Can't do anything to help. It's alright, I'm just dodging shots and <laughs> drifting around. Yeah, at least you're drawing the fire of those missiles, those rockets. Hopefully the boost bus is pumping some fire into it. I lost some stuff. You've lost some stuff? Yeah, I just lost a couple of pieces. Not my hydrogen, though. I'm still flying. I just brought him back over the base again. Oh, jeez, it's shooting at me. drift around this crater. Oh, it's lost its beacon. That's why I couldn't tell where I'd gone. Is it out of the fight yet? Nope, it's still got a turret. It's still shooting at Oh, me. it's coming! It's gonna hit the ground, I think, this time. Yep, it's down, it's down. Oh, that was a big explosion that was hidden by a hill for me. It's okay, I got it. <laughs> it is gone. It did a lot of damage. There is so nothing useful left down here. Wow, okay. That was, uh, that was a painful fight. We have taken a lot of damage to our base. Most of our new turrets have been shot up. Yep, all the turrets on the base have been shot up. There's and no power to no. your drill. Also, several of the cargo containers are gone now. Gone or just... Oh, oh no! We lost huge amounts then. Inventory Scraper's still alive. Full. Okay, we we need to work on just getting Capac launched so we can get the boost bus launched and out of here. Yeah, we should probably I'm gonna get this um little guy repaired. Yeah. So we can take right. him with us. So I just need to refuel quick. At least I'm still flying. I thought I was gonna lose my hydrogen tank for sure. Energy. Somehow. I came out of there relatively unscathed. Holy crap. Yeah, you did. And somehow we didn't lose pressure on the casket. <laughs> I was standing on top of it, welding it up, trying to prevent it getting too badly damaged from the Reaver during that fight. Given the amount of Man. the base that we've sacrificed for this to for this gang to work, I wasn't gonna have it be ruined by the Reaver now. Yeah. I think we might be considered a high threat at this point. Oh, that cargo container that I didn't really use is gone. Um, oh. yeah, yeah, let's see. Oh, that sta scaffolding's gone too. Um, oh, that part of the base is gone. Uh, medical room is damaged. Is it functional? Nope. Oh, we well, need to fix that. Yes, we do. Ah. Everything's gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't have much of a base left. Uh, it's it's still there. It's just not that much. Yeah. I mean, it's recoverable because we didn't lose your miner. We didn't lose... We did lose the plunge miner, though. Oh, well, you got the scraper. In fact, it's about to tip over right now. Oh, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, just recharging in the, <laughs> in the casket. And I was like, hang on a second. That's tip tipping. Uh, we probably want to try and get stuff from that. Okay, 
this car container is still together and it has I don't it's got 60 uh power cells in it. All right, I'm going to try still... and repair it with stuff from the booze bus. All right, you're going to repair that. Fortunately, the booze that... bus's assembler and cargo is intact. That was interesting. Is the large cargo container connected to the assembler? Uh, it should be. At least I hope it is. I mean, just need 15 medical components. Ah, I think it is now. <laughs> I think something had just broken. And... Uh, the casket is ready to launch if you... Uh... Medical room repair. Nice. Well, you're saying I'm ready to launch? Yeah, the casket is ready to go. All right. So what do you want to take from here? No, no, the casket, not the booze bus. Capac. Yeah, I... I oh, we're, we're just going to fling him and then catch up to him later. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to fling okay. him. and it's, it's just to watch him, watch him go this time. And then we can continue to work on the base and do other stuff. <laughs> I thought, okay, I thought we were gonna like take him up with us and then like nope, like send him off and then just like watch him for a while and just be like he'll catch up and then jump ahead. No, no, no! I'm gonna launch him from here. Alrighty then. <laughs> All right, I just gotta get Steve back in. Yeah. Uh, no, no rush. This should work. Oh no, he's here. Oh no! Quick, 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 quick! Okay, go, go, go. This. Hey, get back! Oh, uh, you've not connected. Uh, no, apparently not. No. Uh, you might have to try again. So, Canada, did you see that? Yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> Bye. Yep. Uh. <laughs> this was beautiful. <laughs> Had to pilot it in first person. Mm -hmm. So I'm on my I'm on my way back now. Yeah. You here? Cat back? Has he awoken? Oof. So Cat back, you're you're actually awake? Uh yeah. What the? What has what? happened? What do you mean, what's happened? 